At first glance, many fictional video game corporations wouldn't look out of place in one of those college job fairs. They offer fantastic promotion potential, fascinating research and development roles, and probably free dental care. Oh yeah, you know that Aperture Science will definitely pay for Lisa's braces. The CEOs are often charismatic visionaries too, who, like any respectable Miss Universe, believe in ending global hunger, curing cancer, and most importantly, establishing world peace. But beneath those blindingly white, toothy smiles and rose gold auras lies something corrupt and vicious. Wait, are we are we still talking about pageants or are we back on evil businesses now? I honestly I, I can't tell. Anyway, in truth, these corporations cross far too many ethical lines, often valuing profit, scientific progression, or market monopolization over human rights, staff safety, and you know, not starting a zombie apocalypse. They're big. They're bad, and they definitely shouldn't be included in your five-year career plan. I'm Peter from Triple Jump Limited, winner of Nicest Company on Earth 2020 for zero years running, and here are the 10 most evil corporations in video games. Number 10. Abstergo – Assassin's Creed I'm just taking a look at the Abstergo business goals here, and actually I think the writer has made a mistake. Firstly, they want to put an end to the Assassin Order, and surely trying to combat assassinations and therefore murder itself isn't all bad. Also, they'd like to procure the advanced technologies of the first civilization. <laughs> awesome, everyone wants better Wi-Fi, and, and that's pretty much it, other than, uh, oh, establishing a new world order. Yeah, that's, that, that's, there's the big red flag right there. Okay. Now, fair enough, they want worldwide peace, but they also want to achieve it via control and supervision, effectively quashing humanity's sense of free will. They're essentially trying to shoot for a benevolent dictatorship, but you know, some might be tempted to call that a massive oxymoron. Unfortunately, it's that staunch belief that they're doing the right thing that makes them so dangerously determined. Their deception lies beneath a very thin veil of narrow-minded optimism and blind faith. Which is a real shame too, because they have the potential to elevate global technology far beyond what current science believes possible. I mean, imagine having VR tech that doesn't give you motion sickness after 20 minutes. Yeah, it might kill you as you experience the torturous conditions of your ancestors, but <laughs> you can't have everything. I just want to play Resi 7 without falling over my coffee table. Number 9. Phenotrans – Dead Rising Oh, a multi-million dollar pharmaceutical company in a video game. <laughs> no prizes for guessing, these guys are evil. Yeah, they developed the anti-zombification drug Zombrex, but they aren't exactly forthcoming with affordable distribution. Granted, a business needs to, well, actually do business to stay afloat, but think about it. Withholding a zombie cure could result in the undeath of literally all your client base anyway, so why not just cure everyone and then get back to selling overpriced weight loss pills and Disney princess elastoplasts? The company is shady as hell, with even the identity of their leader unknown to the general populace. Still, people are reluctant to question their practices because of the growing demand for and dependence on the zombie cure. Understandable. Oh, and just a side note here, they were secretly responsible for starting the Las Vegas and Fortune City outbreaks. And yes, then they charged victims for treatment, which resulted in more overwhelming profits. All in all, they risked causing causing the extinction of the entire human race just so members of the high-level management can afford new yachts next quarter. It's inexcusable! Not the underhanded business practices, I mean that's literally the name of the CEO's new boat, the HSC Inexcusable. Number 8. Aperture Science Incorporated Portal it's safe to say that Aperture Science's ethics are as absent as GLaDOS's cake. The company began as a simple shower curtain manufacturer, but soon dabbled in far more dirty deeds. And shower curtains are pretty dirty to begin with. With government support and funding and resources verging on infinite, this company strayed just a little too far into the evil genius category, as their questionable research developed into creating a murderous AI that swiftly culled the entire world. 
workforce. GLaDOS, clearly unsatisfied with her role as a glorified administrator, had far greater ambition than her creators ever could have anticipated. She proceeded to conduct her own deadly research experiments. But let's not forget that her hapless subjects were only present because Aperture had contained them in the first place. Prior to the whole AI takeover malarkey, the company developed anti-anti-choking maneuvers, experimented on homeless people, replaced the blood of test subjects with gasoline and peanut butter, and even spliced human DNA to create a monstrous race of vicious mantis men. With a tagline of, we do what we must because we can, Aperture constantly foregoes human morality for the sake of science. They may have given us the portal gun, but with innumerable corpses building up behind the scenes, was it really worth it? Number 7. Rupture Farms, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey as if a meat processing plant wasn't the most horrific sounding place to work in the first place, Rupture Farms decided to forget about all that annoying workers' rights nonsense and actually start chucking their employees into the meat grinders along with the rest of the offal. The company utilises a slave labour workforce, which is bad enough to begin with, but then processing your depressed staff into tasty protein bars, well, that's cartoonishly evil. The enslaved Madokan can expect to work long, arduous hours in horrendous conditions for a minuscule salary, all the while living under the constant threat of being the next worker to end up a burger. If Rupture Farms ever decided to grace their employees with the respite of a lunch break, you can be sure that their canteen slop would definitely include your own buddy from the next office over. These guys are moustache twirling levels of evil, but almost to a comical degree if you think about it. It's grim, but excessively so. There may be an underlying analogy for uninspired workers literally feeding themselves into the meat grinder of tedium while slaving away for the man. Uh, but here at Triple Jump, we're concerned with far more important quandaries, like which member of our office would make the tastiest meal? Uh, anyone for another spoon of Ben Pottage? Number 6. Sarif Industries and Tai Yong Medical, Deus Ex don't you just hate it when mobile phone companies unveil new versions of the same products year after year with little difference in each instalment? Well, before you check out Apple's glossy new release that will definitely cost an arm and a leg, you might want to take a sideways glance at Sarif Industries and Taiyong Medical, or TYM for short, whose products literally cost an arm and a leg. They coerce customers into investing in their advanced augmentations in order to attain a loftier social standing. These upgrades also require constant use of the neuropazine drug in order to prevent the body from rejecting the technology. And of course, this doesn't come cheap either. If that wasn't horrid enough, TYM bought out Sarif Industries and consequently became the only major augmentation company in the world, whereupon it proceeded to engage in clandestine activities to further the desires of the Illuminati. And what's more, they cut corners, conduct human testing, and silence anyone who tries to speak out against them. Full house, bingo! Although it was very amusing when the fake Serif website convinced evil in their own right British newspaper The Sun that they were real, they certainly aren't convincing us that they've got the customer's best interests at heart. Number 5. The Shinra Electric Power Company, Final Fantasy VII now, there isn't a lot I wouldn't do for Rufus Shinra. Granted, I wouldn't enjoy molesting the planet's life force for the sake of monopolising the energy market, but damn, look at that smouldering gaze. For those of you unfamiliar with the legendary original release or the stellar remake, Final Fantasy VII follows the ramifications of Shinra's unscrupulous and amoral undertakings. They drilled into the planet's core, sapping the Marco energy and draining the globe of its vital life force. All in the name of innovation and technological progression. Despite the planet dying at their hands, Shinra executives were still dissatisfied with their level of villainy, so they decided to also get in on the fun genetic experiments that all the other evil video game corporations were already practicing. 
They harvested alien DNA and developed their own private militia and super soldiers, complete with PTSD and psychopathic tendencies. With an army at their disposal, as well as a covert ops division known as the Turks, the original President Shinra was able to enforce an autocratic rule over Marco-powered territories, even resorting to declaring war against anyone who dared oppose the construction of Marco reactors in their lands. Oh <laughs> Rufus, we love love you, but you sure make it very difficult to like you. Number 4. Armacam Technology Corporation – Fear You can't be a successful evil business if you aren't willing to dabble in some casual human experimentation. But you know, there are some real overachievers out there, so why not take it one step further by specifically experimenting on little girls? Armacam Technology Corporation, or ATC, decided that developing military technology and creating super soldiers was just too white bread for their liking. They weren't interested in the likes of your Captain Americas, no sir. Instead, they wanted their super soldiers to harness the psychic powers of Alma Wade, their unfortunate research subject. Rightly so, the little lass wasn't too happy with this arrangement, and therefore rebelled against her captors after suffering years of torturous experimentation. ATC subsequently put Alma into an induced coma, and later impregnated her with two prototype offspring, which you might not be surprised to hear did little to quell her psionic rage. ATC projects Icarus, Paragon, Origin, Perseus, Pythagoras, and Harbinger not only have cool, catchy names, they also include sickening test procedures, inhumane experiments, and worst of all, helping improve mathematical aptitude. Oh, heinous! Number 3. Cerberus – Mass Effect Cerberus is a human survivalist paramilitary group that believes humans deserve a leading role in the galactic community. However, like many other entries on this list, problems arise when these corporations start throwing around phrases like, the ends justify the means. They wholeheartedly support the principle that any method of advancing the human population is entirely justified, including dangerous and illegal experimentation, terrorism, sabotage, and even assassination. They openly acknowledge that their methods are often brutal, but honestly, they just don't care. In essence, they believe that history will vindicate them of their methods upon evaluating their results. Their enigmatic leader, the Elusive Man, directly opposed Commander Shepard's attempts at alliances between the alien races before succumbing completely to Reaper indoctrination. The player may or may not convince the Elusive Man otherwise at the end of Mass Effect 3, but by that point, the company has spearheaded too many illegal and unethical projects. They may be named after the three-headed Guardian of Hades, but they certainly aren't two-faced. What you see is what you get with these guys. They are admittedly evil, and aren't afraid to flaunt it. Number 2. Vault Tech – Fallout they may not be as notorious as Bethesda themselves these days, but vault sure has more than a few irradiated skeletons in its closet. Actually, they've literally got vaults full of irradiated skeletons. Under the guise of developing safe havens for those under threat of nuclear war, vault actually constructed them to undertake tests as part of the Societal Preservation Program. With only 17 of the 105 vaults actually working as safe bunkers, the project was one big indulgence into scientific curiosity that resulted in the deaths of most inhabitants. Many of the experiments were conniving and cruel, with vault dwellers driven to madness or suicide within the quote-unquote safe confines of the bunkers. Any and all ethical concerns were immediately dismissed, presumably for being counterproductive to the world's scientific needs. Vault 11, for instance, required an annual sacrifice from inhabitants lest the life support be switched off. In reality, however, if the populace had refused, the vault doors would have opened, allowing them freedom, or possibly death in another way. Some vaults had faulty safety systems, while others were almost as comically evil as the practices of rupture farms. One, for example, simply confining 20 men, 10 women, and one hungry panther. Why? Bingle bangle bungle, he'd be happier in the jungle. 
And number one, Electronic Arts. How could anyone else take the crown? Behold the actual real-life winner of the Consumerists' Worst Company in America Award 2012 and 2013, purveyor of loot boxes and frequent shutter-downer of some top-notch development studios. What? What? Oh, only fictional companies allowed in this list, apparently. Okay, number one, Umbrella Corp, Resident Evil. Yeah, okay, you're probably unsurprised that Umbrella took the real top spot on this list. But predictable or not, the choice is by no means unjustified. They toy around with illegal experimentation and biological weaponry, and of course without them there would never have been the original outbreak in Raccoon City, as well as most of the other consequent infections thereafter. They created several highly volatile mutagen viruses and parasites, while showing little concern for the apparently very likely exposure risks. Human experimentation is commonplace within the walls of Umbrella Corp, with a frequency possibly sitting somewhere between number of of coffee breaks allowed per day and number of motivational Tai Chi classes per week. They also have a nasty habit of just releasing the virus on unsuspecting towns and then sending in terrifying mutants to take care of any lucky survivors. But what separates them from the rest of the entries on this list? Well, it's their sheer eagerness to continue experimenting and unleashing new viruses, regardless of the staggering tragedies left in the wake of their deeds. They just just won't let up. Their scientists are frankly bonkers, and will stop at nothing to perfect and protect their beloved creations, and their private military force is downright ruthless and hunky. Staff at Umbrella Corp think that the world is their playground. A playground that they're not afraid to dump a nuke on if things get too out of hand. And the worst part is, that's only barely a metaphor. I'm pretty sure Umbrella Corp would happily nuke a playground. And there we have it, some of the most dastardly businesses in video gaming. But in all honesty, there were too many to choose from. With companies like Prototypes Gentech and Bioshock's Fontaine Futuristics eager for more victims, I mean more employees, who will you be steering away from when making your next career change? Leave a Glassdoor's review in the comments below. You can follow myself and Triple Jump on Twitter here, and if you want to support the things you enjoy, then check out the rewards on our Patreon. Finally, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I've been Peter from Triple Jump, and thanks for watching.